The bonfire reflects in the warrior's shining blades and their determined eyes. None will stand in my way! I love these do-or-die situations. Ring out, KO! Winners do not know the meaning of surrender! Hey, I know that guy. That's Kratos from God of War. How you doing? How did he make it into this game and Dig Dug didn't? Instead of packing the game with Star Wars characters, we get a guest appearance from Kratos, who's pretty cool to play, actually. Two warriors cross paths, a battle must ensue. Fight! Soul Calibur Broken Destiny for the Sony PSP. I think that fans of the Soul Calibur series will be very pleased with this release. With the exception of one notable admission, there's no online multiplayer. No real online multiplayer. You can play two-player ad hoc versus against a friend, but this game really could use multiplayer. It could also use a guest appearance from Namco's own Dig Dug, wielding the bike pump of eternal destiny. We'll make you suffer! Raise your weapon and prepare to battle! <laughs> To your knees! To your knees! Come to your knees! Does it hurt? Well, I'm not very good at this game, I can tell you that it is extremely well made and very smooth on the PSP. Here's a look at the main menu showing you the different game options, and you have a huge cast of characters to choose from. I think this game is a lot like Soul Calibur 4 brought over to the PSP. In general, it feels very similar, and it has the awesome character creation mode. I've spent a lot of time with this just creating Dolomite's army of kung fu women. It's pretty slick, you can create male or female characters, dress them up in all kinds of ridiculous outfits, change their fighting style. You can create and save up to 16 characters, and this is a lot of fun. How well you fight. Now, kneel before the city. Get out of my way! What do you want? I'll enjoy watching you. You leave me no choice. Nice to meet you. I'm not gonna lose here. Fight like your life depends. Now, kneel before now. Now, kneel before me. Now, kneel before me. Okay. What well, you can get up now. This is awkward. Tell you what, you just stay there, and I'll walk away. Alright. Fate conspired to arrange their battle. Don't blame me, blame fate. Fool, you dare to stand up to me? Battle one. Fight! It's not my fault that guy's terrible, it's fate. Always blame fate when you have a chance, if not fate, blame destiny. Without a major online component, this has a bit of a Virtua Fighter 5 vibe to it. Not the gameplay style, but the way that it generates matches for single player. Which I like, it keeps things fast and simple. In the quick play mode, you're playing these other people, but they're not real people. It's like it generates fake people for you to play against. Very similar to what Virtua Fighter 5 did with those different Sega arcades simulating an online community. Every battle is connected to the two opposing swords. Which do you want destroyed? Body or soul? Time to die! <laughs> That's the bad guy from James Bond's Live and Let Die. Looks just like him. It's like you can make fake friends because you can go in there and see who you're playing against. Sometimes you'll play some of the same people. For those who really want to play online, just get Soul Calibur 4 on the 360 or PS3. If you want Soul Calibur on the go, Broken Destiny on the PSP is the one for you.
Maybe you should change your style. <laughs> In addition to the quick play mode and verses, you can also play the gauntlet, which I'll show you in a bit, and the trials, where you play for points. And one other important point, you can control your character's movements using either the analog thumbstick on your PSP or using the D-pad. They find themselves in a battle orchestrated by the whims of fate. I have bet my life on this sword. I understand. Now come. What theater? It's the Wicked Witch of the Southeast versus some harlot with a sword and shield. This makes Shakespeare look like crap. Your destiny is predicted by fate which gleams in the bonfire of strength. Or something along those lines. Hey, she's got pink underwear. I believe that's the pink underwear of fate. Her fate was to suffer at the hands of destiny. Let's take a look at some of these honors that you can win. They're kind of like PS3 trophies or achievement points. I'm not sure if they do anything, but the more you play the game and win battles, you do unlock different outfits for the characters. Some of which are pretty cool, like the Santa's coat and boots, and the cello that the one character was wearing on her back. What we're looking at here is the gauntlet where your characters go on an adventure, which is kind of odd. It's basically a number of training missions. The gauntlet. I would prefer if it was just gauntlet. And they were searching through dungeons for treasure, fighting ghosts by the hundreds. Mission failed. This thing is all about perfecting your blocking and your moves, and it's kind of interesting. Actually, if you are not that familiar with the Soul Calibur series, the gauntlet may prove very helpful. Overall, I think this is a nice release. It's extremely well made. The production value is very high. That's what's really important. I think it could have used a serious multiplayer, but you can still play your friends in two-player ad hoc versus, and it's Soul Calibur Broken Destiny on the PSP. that matters.